than he knew at the time. We thought it was kind of funny. Joe may have been a career screw-up, but if you compare the two, Hunter always made it seem like Joe had it together. Well, it turns out the big guy wasn't kidding. A new report in the Post by Miranda Devine tells us Hunter may actually be pulling some strings at the White House. That would explain why the country's such a mess. Seriously, former friends of the Biden family are spilling some hot gossip saying Hunter is actually one of the president's closest advisors. They say he was the brains behind Joe's Ukraine policy when he was VP, where Hunter was sitting on the Burisma board, bankrolling millions of dollars. And obtained audio by the Post shows Hunter was actively bragging about pulling Joe's strings. And he was planning on doing it when Pop became president, saying his dad, quote, will talk about anything that I want him to. And dad respects me more than he respects anyone in the world. So why does the president take orders from a finger painter? Well, according to Hunter, he says, quote, my dad tells me I'm better than him. And Hunter couldn't even help himself but to brag, saying his dad, quote, thinks I'm a god. Now, if you played the audio of this, which we've heard, Hunter's sugar brother might come after us. Eric Leggers is a famed investigative journalist known for his work on Clinton Cash. All right, Eggers, this is shocking. Uh, I did not know the relationship between Joe and Hunter was like this, um, but in a way it's not surprising. What, what do you think? Yeah, I think the most surprising thing is that if Joe Biden thinks Hunter Biden is like a god, he must not think God's a very good accountant because I'm unaware of any faith tradition in which any Lord and Savior gets accused of tax fraud the way Hunter Biden has. Uh, but you're absolutely right. The fact that they're so close isn't surprising. We've been reporting on this at the Government Accountability Institute for some time. Remember, Hunter's first big deal, the one and a half billion dollar deal with the government of China, occurred less than two weeks after Hunter accompanied Joe on Air Force Two while Joe Biden was vice president visiting China on state business. So it's not surprising. The only thing I think, Jesse, that it does raise is a possibility we hadn't considered before. We've seen Joe Biden stumble mentally. We've seen him stumble physically. But it's possible maybe these stumbles aren't evidence of cognitive or physical decline on Joe. Maybe it's just a contact high from hanging out with Hunter. <laughs> you know, I, I wouldn't put it past the, both of them uh, after listening to Joe's performance. It is interesting, and I think some investigators on the Republican side of the aisle might have been interested in this during the impeachment fiasco, because if Hunter Biden is admitting on audio that he was running Joe Biden's foreign policy in Ukraine during the time when he was getting paid by Burisma and Joe was, you know, withholding money to get the prosecutor fired. I mean, that basically clears Donald Trump completely, does it not? It absolutely would. And it kind of makes sense, right? You can almost hear Joe Biden's wheels turning. Why would I have to listen to national security advisors about Ukraine policy? My son works there and he's the smartest guy I know. I'll just call him and see what he says. But you're absolutely right. I mean, the fact that, as, you, as you've noted, we have so many problems in this country. The, obviously, whoever he's listening to uh, isn't of soundest of mind. And when it's, you think about people not of sound mind, the first name that comes to mind is Hunter Biden. And that's why this whole thing was such a national security risk from the jump. You have a guy He's cracked out. He's talking to God knows who. He's getting recorded. He's holding a hot pistol with a prostitute in the back, leaving his laptop all over the place. I mean, no wonder the Chinese were all up in his pants. I mean, no, it, the guy is the perfect mark, and so is his dad. All right, Eric Eggers, thank you so much for joining us.